Holy digital mustache removal, Batman! The long-rumored and highly anticipated Zack Snyder cut of the DC superhero film Justice League is finally getting released. Right ain't over yet. <laughs> My man! On this IMD Brief, we take a look at everything you need to know about the fan-fueled Snyder Cut. In May, during a live watch party for Man of Steel, director Zack Snyder and star Henry Cavill, this time mustache included, announced that an unseen version of 2017's Justice League will rise from the depths of the Batcave and finally see the light of day. It was later confirmed by Warner Brothers that the film will be released on the streaming service HBO Max in 2021. All right. Before we dig into the future of the cut, we must explore its troubled past. Snyder finished filming Justice League in 2016, but was unable to complete its post-production due to a family tragedy, though it was reported that he screened a rough cut to studio execs before departing. Soon after, Avengers filmmaker Joss Whedon was brought on to write and direct reshoots as well as finish the film, which reportedly resulted in a goofier, shorter, and much less bleak version of the film. Oh, and we also got a CGI villain who looked like this. I will take my place among the new gods. Of course you will. Needless to say, critics and many fans were less than thrilled with the results, which caused some to speculate about the quality of the rumored Snyder rough cut. Over time, fan interest continued to grow, eventually resulting in hashtag release the Snyder cut trending online. I need warriors. I'm building an alliance. This feverish fan support even resulted in a plane flying over San Diego Comic-Con in 2019 with a banner that read, WB hashtag release the Snyder Cut of Justice League. Is the bat plane big enough for all of us? The what? Not only were fans involved in the campaign, but Justice League stars Gal Gadot and Ben Affleck took to Twitter to show their support. Snyder referenced the cut on several occasions, including a post to social media network Vero, which showcased film canisters labeled ZSJL Director's Cut, with text over it reading, Is it real? Does it exist? Of course it does. You won't let me die. The world needs you. The fan campaign seems to have worked, though, as we are getting Snyder's lost version of Justice League. Since the film is not coming out until 2021, that means there was never a fully completed version like many believed. In fact, it was reported that Snyder will be working with a majority of the film's original post-production crew to finish the score, cut the film, and add visual effects, which all could cost somewhere around 20 to 30 million dollars. I'm rich. It was also reported that the Justice League actors could return to do additional dialogue for the film. And speaking of the cast, it was recently rumored that Henry Cavill might once again be slapping that S across his chest to play Superman in future DC movies like Aquaman 2, The Suicide Squad, and The Batman. I'm Batman. Sure you are. Anyway, it's also been suggested that the Snyder Cut could be a dark and epic four-hour film or it could be chopped up into a six-part series, so fans can savor that just to see flavor. But nothing has been officially announced. This is a bad idea. Settle down, Aquahunk, and gander at the picture of the Justice League baddie, Darkseid, recently posted on Twitter by Snyder with the caption, he's coming to HBO Max, confirming the villain, who was part of the director's original vision, will make an appearance in the new cut. I am. Dark side. You and Batman need better catchphrases. For more trending stories, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.